Let's take a walk through the code in this LabVIEW project. Looking at RT main, it has an indicator that says the time before synchronization and then the time after synchronization. The Boolean indicator tells you whether or not the synchronization process was successful. I'm using a flat sequence structure to coordinate the activities. So we get the original date and time in seconds and display that. Perform the synchronization task with this sub-VI, indicating the results with the Boolean indicator, and then report the system date and time after the synchronization process. Let's look at the sub-VI sync the clock to NIST time. You can key in your NIST server and then your time zone selector. You'll also need to know your century number. This indicator shows the returned ITS string and that stands for Internet Time Service. This indicator shows the extracted information from the ITS string and then sync OK indicates whether or not a valid ITS string was received. We'll be opening a TCP connection to port 13 and if there is no error, then we continue on with the rest of the code. Otherwise, we pass the error code through and then set the appropriate default values for the output indicators. TCP read reads exactly 51 bytes, and then we close the connection. From that point, you see the returned ITS string in its entirety, and then the scan from string function parses that accordingly. I'm going to go ahead and run this code with my wireless enabled so that way we can see what a typical ITS string might look like. So wait for a moment. There it is. There's the ITS string. It looks like it was valid. So from the information in this string, I've set up the various fields required for scan from string and then picked off those values here. Here I am bundling all of the necessary values into a cluster needed for date, time to seconds, and that forms a uh, valid timestamp. I'll show you how to create one of these cluster constants. Create the constant, minimize it, and that's exactly what you see right here. So the basic idea is we, we parse the string and then build a timestamp and then send that off to set time. Now, you only want to do this if you know for certain that you did receive a valid time code. And so the case structure here hinges off of that test right there. So part of the string is a so-called health code right here. And then you always see UTC NIST when you had a valid uh, response from, from NIST. So when both of those are true, we go ahead and then update the system time accordingly.